It is only August 2nd, but the fall football season is upon us. You're looking live at the big house in Ann Arbor where they have a big announcement today. Got some big screens. It's all big at the University of Michigan. So let's head on out live and say hello to Kurt Svoboda. He is the Associate Athletic Director, also handles communications and PR. Kurt, big day, big screens. It's a big day. Thank you so much for having me on here with Local 4. It's great to have you. Go ahead. I mean, we can see behind you the massive, uh, the massive new screens. So go ahead and tell us a little bit about the project. It's been going on the entire off season. Yeah, th this has been going on. It has affected a few things in the stadium from the spring, but we are deep in the construction process with two uh, replacement video boards, whether you view them as replacement or brand new, maybe just depends on your lens, but we're thrilled to bring uh, some of the media here through today and take a look at the progress that's going on. Incredible progress has been made and much more still to go so that we're ready for our home opener, which we guarantee we will be uh, against East Carolina. Home opener on September 2nd. Go ahead and turn around and take a look and show us that that screen that's behind you and give us the sense of the change that people are going to be able to see. Yeah, I mean, the change will be noticeable. And, uh, you know, I'm thrilled to chat about this here with you today. I also think it's one of those things that our fans, when they enter into the stadium, it's really going to dawn on them how much larger these video boards are, how much uh, more clear the feed is, uh, how much better the sound is in the stadium. So the actual video board, what fans will notice is that these are approximately 120% larger than the video boards that we had here in the stadium last year. Uh, it's 179 feet wide by 62 tall. Uh, we're talking about five and a half miles of cable uh, being run in this project with the boards. Uh, we've added uh, two huge support columns onto the, uh, each end of each video board. And it's really uh, quite impressive to look at when you're here in the stadium, not to mention uh, those of us who drive by the stadium every day, whether it's on East Stadium or on Keach. No, absolutely. It really stands out. And I've seen it kind of through the summertime, the, the construction project going on. When people come in, though, it's sometimes so interesting. You can get distracted from actually watching the football that's in front of you. Your eyes go to the screen a lot of times. It's a it's a yeah, fan behavior is such an interesting thing and it's always evolving and, and it always amuses me. And I think that is something to keep in mind. You know, not only do we enjoy the largest crowd on any football Saturday here at U of M in Ann Arbor, but our fans also have a wealth of uh, things to look at to enhance the, uh, their excitement of the game. You know, we're one of the uh, very few stadiums that has two video boards uh, in it so that no matter where you sit, you have something in close proximity as a fan where you're not having to maybe strain your neck or turn around to see a replay or something. To your point, maybe sometimes you, you catch yourself watching that video board more so than what's going on the field. Well, it's always been an awesome immersive experience when you're in the big house and you're able to the band, the crowd, just the atmosphere. I don't really think there's anything like it in collegiate sports when you're able to go to a game in person. Um, but I, we do see that guys are still working on the on the video screens right now. When will we see them complete or when there's no more guys up on the scaffolding? I see. Well, I can't give you a timeline on that. You know, we, we have things uh, like contingencies that are built in for any of us who endured some of these thunderstorms uh, of last week and into the early part uh, of, of this week. There are things that just happen that, that affect the construction schedule. Uh, I know over my right hand shoulder, there there's some very brave individuals who are on top of that video board right now uh, doing work. You could not pay me enough to get up there. But the work is happening nonstop when, uh, when the lighting doesn't allow or the weather doesn't allow for for the more uh, public facing parts of the board. The work continues with the infrastructure and our uh, event presentation team, our video team, uh, our IT staff, they're at work at this point every single day, making sure that we are learning the technologies, that things are working, that we have uh, fail safes in place in case of uh, something malfunctioning. And so, you know, the fan uh, can be rest assured that, that there's physical signs of the progress Progress being made as well as our assurance that behind the scenes we're working tirelessly on this project. 
What runs through your mind, Kurt, when you head out onto the field and it's August 2nd, practice is going to be starting up, and we've got another season upon us. What's that like for you? Well, I think it's one of the beautiful things about working in college athletics is there is this cyclical nature of what we do. Um, we well, Our football team uh, uh, in, in Hull got welcomed back yesterday. We've already hit, uh, had a media session and promo shots with our men's soccer program uh, for about four hours yesterday. And so there's, there's this building excitement with all members of the athletic department that a new season is upon us. Um, for those who are still enjoying their summer break, uh, I, I, I see you, I appreciate you. Our summer ended several weeks ago uh, before uh, football Big Ten media day. And so we kind of get that excitement of the season is here. It is upon us. We have uh, in just a little more than a week, uh, we, we have exhibition games happening. And then, you know, the one that so many people care about is football starting up here uh, now in just about one month. Yeah, and I think, Kurt, for Michigan uh, football fans, there's never a break. There's never an off season. <laughs> Well, I think to your, to your, to your point, no, there, 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 there is no off season. And I think so, uh, so much credit goes to our media and to our fans for the interest around Michigan athletics, Michigan football in particular. I think the turnout uh, of the media here today, trying to get these nuggets of information and a behind scenes look really is testament to the interest uh, around our athletic department and just the incredible fan base, the alumni base, all of the, the, the wonderful uh, partnerships that U of M enjoys in re research and technology. So many people care about this wonderful institution and if it manifests itself in Michigan football, the, then that's a really wonderful thing. Well, it's a beautiful stadium. And thanks so much, Kurt Svoboda, for joining me. And uh, congrats on the new big screens. The fans are going to love it, I'm sure. Good luck this season. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for having us, and uh, go Blue.